guys, SilverPlayer22 here, bringing you another informed Silver Player review. Today we're going to be looking at Omar Kamara. If you haven't already checked out the Team of the Season Rodiega review that I uploaded earlier today, definitely go and check that out. And possibly check it out just because there's going to be a few comparisons between the two of the guys, uh, both Rodiega and Kamara. So yeah, it might help you if you go and check that out, that video out, or possibly go and have a look at it afterwards. Anyway, Kamara is from the MLS, and he is in possibly one of my most disappointing Team of the Weeks I've seen in FIFA. Like, when I heard that there was going to be a load of different silver players in this Team of the Week, and they weren't going to be taking into account many of the international players, I was so excited. I thought, you know what? There's going to be so many good ones. I was even hoping for Zardes. You know, he was in a really, really good shot. I think he got two goals, which would have been awesome, but you know, there's just nothing really to pick from. I mean, the Colombian guy looks okay, but anyway, getting into Kamara, 82 pace, 80 shooting, 72 physical, 70 dribbling, 6 foot tall, medium, medium work rates, 3 star week for only 2 star skill moves, which is massively disappointing. Cost me 9,800 coins, but he's already going for about 7k, which is mental, really, for an inform who is in the team of the week, but you know, I, I would have thought it would be more expensive because I didn't think that many people would be opening packs because, you know, it's pretty poor. Mental and physical stats, sprint speed is obviously the standout one there, but strength isn't too bad and acceleration's okay, agility's okay. Uh, attacking position is pretty solid, but it's kind of what you'd expect. Finishing is good, long shots and shot power. Maybe a little bit deceptive there because I found in game they weren't the best, but not horrific, so nothing too bad. And as I've already said, three star weak foot and two star skill moves is so disappointing on a striker these days. Medium, medium work rates, which I didn't really notice to be honest. I, I always sort of play my tell my strikers to sit on field. Uh, passing was shocking, other than his long three balls, which seemed to be totally accurate, which is really random. Dribbling was okay. Um, you know, I didn't really notice it being great, but it was okay. His balance sort of put me off a little bit because he did get knocked over a lot of the time, even though his strength wasn't horrific. You know, if he got side on tackled by someone he was going over which is a little bit disappointing uh, you know reactions weren't the best either if I'm being totally honest he didn't if he lost the ball he wasn't going to win it back which is something I like you know I like to see players try to win the ball back if they lose it because my style of play is I dribble and if I lose it I want I want another attempt at it uh, finishing was okay yeah, it was okay. You know, a lot of the time he hit the post, which was a little bit disappointing. A lot of the time he hit the goalkeeper, which is even more disappointing. Because I want to, you know, I was aiming for the corners and a lot, you know, disappointed if he hits the goalkeeper. Because um, I'd really, you know, I want to work the goalkeeper most of the time. And, you know, really good in the air. I'm going to give him that. He was, he was actually decent in the air. And you might notice that I'm not getting too excited about this guy because he just wasn't that exciting. He, he sort of felt like a non-inform. And... I know it sounds crazy because non-informed shouldn't feel different and all this, you know, but they do. Like, to me, I want my non my, my informed players to feel a little bit special, whereas Kamara sort of felt... It just didn't feel that special to me. You can see his positives and negatives here. I think I've covered most of them. Quite good top speed, which is nice to see. And I've already covered his negatives, as I said. Now, I'll give him a 7.3 out of 10 because I just... I didn't love him, you know? I just didn't find him... You know, I wouldn't rush out to go and get him, you know... The MLS is a, is, a, is a is a league I enjoy watching, and and Camaro is someone I would have enjoyed seeing do well. But I felt like he sort of felt like his rating. He felt like a seventy four, maybe pushing a little bit above to a seventy six, and a ten to twenty k player. I wouldn't recommend even playing paying twenty twenty k for him unless it was like the MLS Cup or something like that. But I, I can't recommend you paying any more than him because although he was sort of enjoyable, he wasn't any. He, he, he went missing, you know. I, if I wasn't doing a review on him, I wouldn't have noticed him playing, which is a little bit disappointed to be honest. Anyway, for end chat today, guys, who is the best player you have ever seen in the flesh? Who have you ever seen live? Have you gotten to see, watch him in a game? You know, not on TV. I'm talking in the flesh. Who is the best player you have ever seen live? Also, guys, let me know. Are there any of the other players from the team of the week you want me to review? Like. Yeah, to me, I couldn't really see many that looked amazing, but if you guys have spotted something, you know, uh, spotted a, a stat or something that makes someone a little bit special, let me know in the comments below, and I will try my best to review them. Like, comment, subscribe. Cheers, guys.